welcome to our very first Q&A. We asked you guys to send us questions on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and you guys did not dis disappoint. We have so many questions, there's no way we're gonna get through them all, so we're just gonna jump right into this video. Elizabeth Summercloud says, this is for both girls. If you were to choose between Briar or Schleich, what would you choose? Schleich. Schleich. For Sam, what's your favorite breed of dog? My favorite breed of dog right now is an uh, Irish Wolfhound. And for Laura, this is a really good one. Do you prefer to clean the house or garden? I prefer, yeah, I definitely prefer cleaning the house. I love gardening too, but cleaning the house is my thing. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that awesome question. Avengers911 asks, I have a question for Sophia and Gabby. How long have they been interested in horses? How long have you been interested in horses, Sophie? Mm, I don't know. So long that she doesn't even remember when she got interested in horses. Gabby, when, how long have you been interested in horses? Two or three. Since she was two or three. I'll tell you the true story. Or when, 19 months. When Gabby was 15 no. months, just barely a year old, we took her to some place and had they had pony rides. We put her on the pony and literally she freaked out when we took her off. From that moment on, we devoted our lives, Sam and I, to finding her opportunities to ride. They've been riding for a really long time. If you're interested and you're new to her channel and you haven't seen it yet, I will link a video or I will link an iCard right up here to Gabby and Sophie's riding story. We have those videos made and it shows you how long they've been riding. This is from Allie the Equestrian. This one's for you, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Sophie, did you just start riding horses because Gabby's riding or because you genuinely wanted to start? Because I wanted to start. Yeah, Sophia was bit by the same horseback riding bug that Gabby was ridden, bitten by. Where did by. I get that bug? I don't know. I don't know because I was not a horseback rider. Dad was not a horseback rider. But we are all animal lovers. So I think it just kind of came from there. Bailey Kira says, I have a question for everyone. Do you have a public Snapchat that you upload things that we could add? Thanks. Do we have a public Snapchat? Um, we don't. We hardly use Snapchat. I have a Snapchat. Sam has a Snapchat, but we don't have a day-by-day -day one. We are definitely going to look into that, though. So the next question comes from Unique Cinnamon Roll. That's a unique name. I love it. I have three questions for you guys. One, will you and Sam learn to ride once you get She's a farm? She's going to learn to ride. I want to learn to ride. I don't know if you guys have been following along, but that horse Ziggy at the barn, he makes me want to ride. Yep, I always wanted a horse, and I'll probably get one for myself one day. Oh, Park Clyde? So there you have it. Okay, so number two, what is your dream horse? Sophia, what's your dream horse? A toy? No, regular horse. All right, Gabby, um, just wait. You think about it. Gabby, what is your favorite dream horse? What's your dream horse? Well, um, um, a white horse or gray that looks like white, like blue. He's gray. And it'd be, I forget. All right, I'm going to tell you guys what my dream horse is because I, like I know what mine is. Horse Star Boy. Okay, Star guys. Boy? Gabby likes Star Boy. Who do you like? Um, like this. I like Ziggy. I want Ziggy. She like, like this kind of horse. But not in Andalusian. Maybe You're shading here. me. Um, Sophie likes paint horses. I love paint horses. Gypsy Banner horses. That is my favorite oh, breed. Frisian. Frisian. And number three, what are Gabby and Sophia's favorite schleich? Oh, I want gold for this time. Sky. What kind is she? She's an Andalusian mare. Andalusian mare. And what's your favorite schleich? They stopped making her now. Hero. Hero. What kind is he? Ah. Uh, mm. You just love him? Guys, tell me they what... They stopped making him, too. Unique Guys, Simon tell me what kind of horse he is. Unique Simon Roll says, I collect a lot. I have over 50. She wants to see a video of our entire collection, and let me tell you, we are going to make that. Um, actually, if you want to see the video of their entire collection to date, you can check out Gabby's channel. What's your channel, Gabby? Always Gabby. Always Gabby. She has that video on her channel already. Farm tour. Oh, and the introducing all of my horses. Okay, Galaxy Pony has two questions. Question oh, one: Galaxy Did you release the raccoons? We don't release raccoons because we uh, live in town. We just raise them until they're able to sustain themselves, and then we take them to a rescue, and they release them. 
Question number two, what stable do you ride at? Guys, we do not share our stable name with anybody just for safety reasons. And last, she wants to know, do you have briar horses? We do have briar horses. I don't know why we never show them, but we should show them soon. Soon, somebody requested a in video. Our vlogs. Yeah, in our old vlogs. We've had, we used to play only with briar. Um, somebody requested that we make a horse collection video, so we're gonna do that, and definitely we'll have bri briars in that. This is for Gabby from Shatsy Does Agility. She wants to know, Gabby, you look great cantering your jumps. Is it scary to jump for the first time? Like the first time when you jump it or the first time at canter? The very first time you ever jump? Uh, no. Not if you're ready for it. But cantering Jasmine over jumps and just jumping Jasmine. Let me tell you, don't do that. <laughs> Why is she scary? She's like a ja She's like a dragon. She goes, instead of like doing this, all the other horses do this. Canter, canter, canter. Jasmine just can't, you can't, you can't. Jump! <laughs> she's like a bunny. Yeah, she is. No, okay. she's like a dragon because she flies with them. Okay, so Danielle Montour asks Sophie and Gabby, do you guys like homeschool better than public school? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, homeschool all the way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, you got to stay home. And second of all, it's fun. This question is from Sean McDonald. This question is for Sam and Laura. When Abby sadly passes away, are you guys, Sam, gonna get another dog? Another doggo? Well, yes. yes, yes, yes we are. We are gonna get another dog, probably an Irish Wolfhound. It's an Irish Wolfhound. And wolf. I will be naming it. Okay, so just to clarify that answer, yes, we already have the dog picked out, we already have the breeder picked out, we already are in love with the breed, the Irish Wolfhound, and we know we're going to get a girl, and we're going to call her... Ruby. Ruby. And she's going to be light gray. I mean, dark gray. Because then we can have a black collar. I mean, a red collar. It sounds mean to already plan our next dog because we love Abby so much. We're actually ready for a puppy now, and we're not even worried. We are not even depending on Abby to go. We just want to get a farm and move before we get another, uh, before we get another dog. Liv's World has so many questions. I'm just going to pick a couple because some of them we've already covered. Um, do you guys ever fight? Do you ever fight? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Do, do we ever fight? Yep, 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 yep. yep Not yep, that yep. often. It never amounts to anything major, but everybody fights, I think. Um, have you ever been bullied for doing YouTube? Before when we were starting, like when day by day was starting. Who bullied you? Us, you mean? Day by day was starting. Yeah, when our video was starting, who bullied you? Did you feel bullied when we first started it? Oh. I never even read comments in Netflix. Literally. So basically, for sure, online we've been bullied. There are a lot of equestrian people that don't agree with how we plan to do stuff. And we've been bullied that way for sure. But basically our family and our friends were pretty supportive and I didn't ever felt bullied. Did you feel bullied? Uh, no, I don't, I don't even remember. She doesn't even remember. Will the girls ever have their own separate YouTube channels? <gasps> yeah, I, she already has one. I already have one. I will get one. Yeah, Sophie's going to get one when she's 10, maybe even a little bit before, but she wants her own channel for sure, and Gabby already has one, and your ga channel is? Always Gabby. And for those of you guys who do not know, um, um, on uh, Blockcraft 3D, my name is Always Gabby and Blue, it's a capital for A for Always, and... G for Gabby and A for and and B for blue. B for blue. So those are capitals. Thanks for your questions, Libs, Libs World. Lara MVB, we know her. She wants to know, Gabby, would you like to lease blue? Yes. Yeah. And do you have a phone? And if so, what is it? I do have a phone. It's really dead right now because only one charger works. Yeah, I use that for only my What kind of phone is it? 
It is a Samsung Note 4. It's a piece of junk phone, too. All right, Sophie, L Lara MVB wants to know, who do you like better, Blue or Ziggy? Blue. Second one. Ziggy, yes! I don't like Ziggy. He's dumb and he's a cow. So, Emily Braz wants to know, what is your favorite subject in school? Um, my favorite subject? Well, I really want to learn Spanish. So, language, I guess? We're going to do French this year. What no! Is, what's your favorite subject in school? Recess. Recess. We don't do recess. <laughs> yeah, all, all half the day is recess for us because we're homeschooled. Um, uh, why did you decide to start a vlog channel, channel? And I'll answer that because it was me that said, hey, I want to start a vlog channel. And everybody said, you're going to hate it. You're going to suck. Nobody's going to watch you. Oh, that was mostly my adult kids that said that, the boys, our boys, and Sam was like, there is no way, and Sam fought me, and fought me, and fought me, and I just got a camera, and I just started videoing, and I had no idea what I was doing, and I had my youngest son, Nicholas, help me, he helped me edit vlogs, he showed me how to do stuff, and I forced Sam to help me, and eventually we just kept going. Now I edit them. Now Sam is right into it just as much as I am. Do you, are you guys glad that we started a vlogging channel? Are you? You don't. <laughs> Do you want to be on on YouTube? Kind of. Are you glad we started a vlogging channel? She loves it. They love it. You guys are just being super silly. Have you guys always been homeschooled? No! Uh, no. <laughs> we just started doing it last year. Yeah, we've only been it for one year and we're ready to start this year soon. This is for everyone and it's from Kayla G. And she wants to know if you could live anywhere in the whole world except for where you are now, where would you go? And why would you choose this place? Alright Sophie, where would you live if you could choose any place? Uh, yeah. Okay, you think about it and we'll ask Gabby first. Where would you live if you could live anywhere? I would live, um, I do not know. I think I'm just living here. Okay, so I'm going to answer this one because I could pick a not million different Florida. places. I would live in Florida. I would live in California. I would live in some place in the States where it's warm most of the time. No. I would... Okay, where would you live? Well, Daily Bumps. Well, she is a big, huge Daily Bumps lover and so am I and I would live next door to them. No. Easily. You guys need to stop clickbaiting your life. <laughs> you guys need to stop clickbaiting your dun, dun, life. Dun, 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 Click baiting. Okay, I'm clickbaiting. Okay, so Ella Gidney, I hope I pronounced that right, she wants to know, Gabby and Sophie, if you had the choice to get a schleich or have a horseback riding lesson, which one would you choose? Horseback riding lesson. What would you choose? Horseback riding lesson. Like an extra horseback riding lesson? Yeah. yeah. Good choice. I want to start riding Spencer for some of my lessons. Abby the horse girl says, Gabby, would you ever want to show one day? No, I do not want to show. Why? Because. Would you want to show? I will be showing sometimes, but not all the time. Because, and I don't care if I win. Because it's just for fun. I think basically I they need to just get a little older. All right, these are the very last questions because we don't want to make this video too long. You guys sent us so many questions. Uh, I want to thank you for that. That was awesome. But um, Equestrian Forever over on Instagram wants to know, Sam, if you get a girl wolfhound, what would you call it? And if you get a boy, what would you call him? Boy would be Odin. And girl, probably Xena. But I'm already outvoted on the girl. He is outvoted. If we get a girl. And we're getting it light gray or maybe dark. We're getting a girl for Medium sure. Medium gray and red stuff. All red things. And her name's going to be Ruby. Yeah, we're really opinionated on what oh, and, dog Sam gets. And we will get her a horse blanket. But I actually made for dogs. Laura, what is your dream pet? 
Basically, I love all tiny little dogs. Chihuahua is my favorite breed of dog in the whole entire world. It is my favorite mm -hmm. pet. I thought I wanted a little tiny female, the smallest I could get it, that would be a good show dog and that would be a puppy and I could train her to be exactly what I wanted. What I ended up with was this little tiny guy and he is my dream dog. I had no idea that having a little boy from a puppy mill and rescuing him would be as rewarding as it is. He has been one of the most damaged dogs I've ever gotten and I absolutely love him. He is my dream dog. I did not even know that this is my dream dog until I got him and he is perfect. Okay. Sophie, what do you want your dream horse to look like? Uh... And be called. If you could name your horse, anything you could name it, what would you want it to look like and be called? I want it to be looking like Ziggy and if I could name it, I want it to Ziggy. Me too. Probably because they Gabby, be how many dream horses do you have and what do you want to call them? How many dream horses would you have and what would you call them? I would have like one. I think four I mean, is perfect. Like I have two, one that I ride every single day and one that's just like my movie star. That's awesome. Movie All right, you guys. Star. Thank you so much for all of your questions. If you like this video, let us know in the comments and we will make Thanks another right. one in a few weeks or in a few months. And thanks for watching. Bye. 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 And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.